What's going on guys? Trainer Toes back with you for another video. Alright, so this is one of Pokemon's newest products. Um, so the newest set, Lost Origin. This is the first set to actually carry a mini booster pack. They call it a booster bundle. Um, they range typically from around $22 to $25. I think it's a relatively fair price. I think $20 would be better, personally, because you're still getting a really good deal. But, not too bad. You get six packs with it. I like it a lot. It's kind of like a dex box too, actually. You can so you can use it as a dex deck box. So it comes on a little sleeve. Here. And I don't think you're actually guaranteed anything. Um, but yeah, it is kind of cool. So yeah, so you should get six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. As we know, I haven't lost, opened Lost Origins yet, so we're gonna or not much at least. I've opened a few blisters and stuff, but. <clears throat> We're gonna see what we can get out of this, see if these are worth it. Granted, I'm only opening one, so not a great sample size, but you can at least see Haunter. Seal. Polyrath, I love Polyrath. Into a Spirit Bomb, not hollow. Same artwork on everyone, basically. So. Have you guys opened the set yet? What do you guys think of it? If you have, let me know in the comment section for me. Um, it's got some nice artworks in it. Obviously, the Aerodactyl is a big one. Um, let's see who else. I'm trying to blanket who else is in this all of a sudden. Well, let's just pull the other rare artwork and let's see if we can get an alt art in here. into a Malamar. So far, not exactly worth it. Granted, we're only two backs in. We're not even halfway there, so that's okay. And we still have a chance at pulling some crazy stuff in here. I would love a secret rare. Probably not very... Not easy to pull to begin with, so probably... Not likely to pull one. <clears throat> and we get the Aerodactyl V, okay. Not bad. Um, kind of neat artwork. I like that, actually. That's a pretty cool artwork for just a V card. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I like that. So I haven't seen most of these cards yet. Because I haven't gotten into the set. So, kind of, kind of... Wait it out. I don't typically like to look too much at sets right away. Um, I like to give it a little bit of time, see what I can pull. So I'm like authentically surprised by the card and the artwork. Lickety lickety. Licky licky. Haunter. Look at that, growth. Chandelure into a Shrifty Hollow. That's actually really cool. Like, I love how that goes out of the actual picture. That's actually really cool. I have not seen this card <clears throat> yet. Like, that's actually really cool. I'm not. Hollows aren't treated as well as they used to be back in the day. Um, but this is. Oh, that's a really cool hollow. I like that shift tree. I don't sleeve up hollows too, too much. I like hollows more than most because of the nostalgia for me. I mean, but And for everybody who stuck around this far, I actually have a surprise. I'm going to open up a rare pack at the end of this video. So the only ones you're going to know about are the people who have made it this far. <clears throat> Hoopa! No. So you guys all have a chance at seeing, because I can get something crazy out of this pack. I think you're guaranteed a hollow in this set. And I'm going to open up. And we're going to see what I can pull out of it. Ah, I, don't think I, I don't think I gave up the 
reverse. And the Magnezone V Star Rainbow. Nice pseudo wudo. Alright, and here it is, guys the Dragon Majesty. Um, pretty sure you're guaranteed a hollow. This is a, I think these are on thirty dollars now a pack. It's four. Oh no, the rare is damaged. No, it's okay. That's all right. Kangaskhan and a Zekrom Hollow. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. We did pull a secret rare out of that. Um, it's 198 out of 196 for this Magnezone V. So maybe these are worth opening. So have a great night guys and I'll see you on the next one.